Serif 80 è una barca che punta alla sostenibilità, come lo fa? Intanto tutte le superfici possibili e disponibili sono coperte di pannelli solari e anche gli impianti ovviamente sono fatti per i motori elettrici. È un grande catamarano dedicato a vivere bene il mare. Tanti spazi all'aperto ma anche al coperto lo sappiamo, da tempo i catamarani offrono tanta superficie in più rispetto ai monoscafi di pari dimensione. Guardate questi prendisoli qui dietro di me, che ampiezza e che comodità. Basically, a story that began 20 years ago. Uh, the company boss, you know, Francis Lab, had this idea to you know, buy a catamaran for himself. And at the time, you know, 20 years ago, uh, you know, even earlier than that, he bought a couple of catamarans that he chartered out. He was at some point happy with them, but then gradually disappointed with the level of finish, with the quality, and he thought, I need a luxury edition of a catamaran. That's where he started to look for a luxury catamaran there and realized there's no such thing. And that's where he had the idea to create basically a new breed, you know, a luxury catamaran, so to combine super yacht quality with multi-hole architecture. You know, 20 years ago, when we brought, you know, the first Sun Reef catamaran to the Monaco show, um, it felt, you know, it must have felt strange to Mr. Lapp because it was a catamaran on display and people were wondering, you know, what is a catamaran doing in basically a space dominated by monohull super yachts. Uh, so it took a lot of time for people to realize the catamaran makes sense. They make great luxury boats. They are stable, they're wide. Uh, they have, you know, the shallow draft. You can go pretty much everywhere with a catamaran. They're a the family friendly yacht by definition. To give you the most obvious example, the first catamaran that we launched was uh, the Sun Reef 74 and it, it was the world's first catamaran with a flybridge. Nowadays, if you go to a boat show and you look around in the catamaran section, every single catamaran has a flybridge. I think there's a, there's a good part of, of, of our customer base that realizes cruising is a luxury and a luxury shouldn't, be, shouldn't leave you know, a lot of trace in the environment. So the idea is to produce boats that are as reasonable, as responsible as possible. And that's why we invest in, you're right, absolutely, in solar power. But then again, we go a little bit further. We, we go the extra mile and we actually came up with a different solar power system for our boats. What we're doing is we're integrating solar cells into composite structures of the yacht. And that means we can put them pretty much everywhere. So they're on the flybridge, on the bimini roof, they're on the mast, uh, inside the halls. That means you have maximum solar power. How much energy can you produce on 80 footers with solar panels? This solar power outset has like 160 square meters of solar panels. That means uh, in kilowatt peak, it's 34 kilowatt peak produced. Uh, that means that you can be fairly autonomous for weeks. When you add solar power and electric propulsion to the mix, uh, you have even more luxury on board because what that brings is, uh, you know, the electric engines are all about silence, about, you know, the lack of vibration, no fumes. Ultimately, that's the, that's the luxury that people are looking for. And right now we also have a full range of uh, electric power yachts. And the first one that we're going to build uh, is going to be for Fernando Alonso. So this is something that we're also very excited to do because uh, when you have a name like that um, and you have a message to share with people, it's good to do this with you know, a powerful partner on board that has a very loud voice and appeals to you know, a very wide, uh, wide audience. So we're very happy to do this with Fernando.